Like, um... Oh, here we go. Okay. We're both in. We've got a best of five between Panda and Taroko. We ha actually have a Canadian showdown here. Both players uh, from Canada. I will mention, too, just because we've had... We've had a few... We got 4.17 on the clock. I'm just going to keep rolling as though we are live. Unfortunately, the stream has disconnected, but we'll see if we can get this resolved. Uh, the good news is the game's going to keep rolling. Okay, looks like we may, be, we may be back in action. Hopefully, everybody can refresh and get back into it. 3-1. Panda with a lead. Taroko's got possession here, no boost. So Panda with a quick challenge. And I'm gonna wait a moment to uh, pick back up where I was. Unfortunately, had a quick disconnect, but it looks like the Looks like it was just a quick hang up. The internet has recovered. All right, so, uh, yeah, what I was saying is, Rocket League has, uh, we, we've, been, we've been dealt some, oh no, whoops, Taroko with the unintentional own goal. It's gonna give Panda a fourth. But we've been catching some doves lately, and first, uh, you know, first and most obvious, I think, is uh, the circle boost indicator. If you are a solo queue player, uh, and even even you know, partied up, I think it's super advantageous to be able to see that just at a moment's, you know, a moment's glance. There, you get to have full context of where your team is resource-wise. Great catch there from Taroko. He's going to control and put in a second. Um, but another thing that uh, we have been we've put to use tonight: U.S. Central servers. Most of these show matches, and, and obviously RLCS as well, has always operated on U.S. East servers. We're going to bump this just a little bit. Y'all, let me know if it needs to go higher. But tonight, we are playing on U.S. Central servers. It's going to give both players you know, a, a 60 or under ping. Taroko with 32. So Rocket League has, you know, regarding gameplay, we've been uh, we've been spoiled a little bit lately. Maybe maybe I shouldn't say spoiled, but we've been receiving some minor, but uh, you know, important quality of life updates. Taroko just booms one towards the target. I don't think that's what he actually intended to do. Probably wanted to get a little bit more power on that, see if he can sneak one past Panda. He may be able to get one here. He does. Secure the goal with a demo. And now Taroko's got a one goal lead. We've got 221 on the clock. Great save there from Taroko. Just being being sure to stay goal side. Take away any shot opportunity for Panda. He did he does make a mistake there. Another one. And miss the midfield boost. But a quick recovery. We'll put him in position to make the save. Now with good control, Taroko is gonna outplay Panda there inside the blue box. Get himself a sixth. Well done by Taroko. Just to disrupt that on his rotation back, make things a little bit difficult for Panda. Got a full tank of boost. He does have his opponent in his sights. Not the cleanest takeoff with that dribble. 
Panda unable to do anything. Threatening or putting Taroko in danger. And we see a flip reset the other way. Taroko, three goal lead. Decent first touch. It's going to cost him a lot of boost. Just let that ball begin uh, descending a with a little bit too much pace. Cost him too much boost to lift it back up. So Panda still stuck at four goals. This may be an opportunity. He should be able to put this home. He does. With 40 seconds left, he's down two. Panda is Canadian, that's right. Panda drops some oops in the chat. Definitely a little bit of a panic as Soroko just slams one towards the target. Panda needs to put this home if he wants an opportunity to mount the comeback. Soroko with a great save and unfortunately Panda's momentum following the shot carries him too far forwards. He's unable to follow. Soroko grabs a corner boost and makes the follow-up save. Panda's around him. Can he get it on target? Yes, he does. It's great work from Panda. Let's see exactly how he did this. One touch around to Rocco and the flip reset. Does allow him to put it back towards the target. But unless there is a gigantic mistake from Taroko, he's going to lock this up. Now that will do it. Can't score two on zero seconds. Panda will get one for the road. A tight game one. Really hot start for Panda. Taroko able to turn things around pretty quick. And then Panda does regain there towards the end of game one. Got a car design change for Panda. Sticking with the Finnick. But he's going to hop over to the stock version. And it looks like that may have been exactly what he needed. Early flip reset. Start game number two. And he's on the board. from Panda and a great shot to the top left side 2-0 Rocco snaps a shot from the midfield not enough to get past Panda Ooh, early flip reset. Read well and defended well by Taroko. He should be able to counterattack here. Panda does well to hustle back to defense, but it's not going to be enough. Taroko gets his first here in game two. Taroko looking for the demo, not able to find it. He's going to have to skip that corner boost to ensure that he doesn't get caught out of position. And the opposite corner does not spawn in time. Puts a decent shot on target. But will eventually turn over possession. Very smart from Panda just to absorb that challenge. Keep things locked here in the orange end. Great setup. Panda's off the ceiling. He's going to go to the far side. It's a third for Panda. Got 
Another ceiling reset. Does get another reset on the ball to follow. Was worried about the clearance from Taroko, so he bails out. Perfectly timed boost spawn. What a read as well by Panda. Just spots the early challenge, pokes it up over the top. Got an easy goal for a fourth. And a fifth to follow on the kickoff. Three minutes to play. Panda has built himself a comfortable lead. Wow, that's an incredible touch. Whether it's intentional or not, he achieved a, a phenomenal bounce there. Just, just enough to keep Taroko at bay. Taroko with a resource advantage. Panda does bail out. Oh! Oh my word! Taroko, a fantastic initial attempt, but Panda with a diving save there will keep that keep that attack out. Roko wrestles into position to nab his corner boost. He's going to get Panda's boost as well, but it's going to cost him his life. Panda is going to fire a shot from deep. Test Taroko's defense and dip in for the corner steal. You have to commend Panda's game management. Built that large early lead, and that was a maybe a poor decision there. Chose to peel away from that ball at the final moment and hope for a fake. But it did not bait Taroko into a poor challenge. He got the clear, and he got the goal. He's cut the deficit down to three. Panda's up high. Maybe one of the pogo. And that's a little greedy. As soon as I praise the game management, things begin to fall apart. on the play by Panda. Just understanding exactly the distance that he was to the ball relative to his opponent and the ball. Knew that he could beat Taroko to the touch. Taps it around. Not only taps it around, but is able to avoid being bumped by Taroko as well. And that is a high risk play. He will be punished for it. Taroko back within two. Panda just a bit too comfortable after building that lead. Maybe needs to be a bit more cautious in his approach. This is more like it. Gonna take things back to his own side. Run some precious time off the clock. No flip reset achieved. So he'll opt for the corner instead. Taroko low boost. Not able to generate any meaningful attack. Panda shot is actually wide, and he went for it. There's a fifth for Taroko. Panda continues to play aggressive. And now Taroko is back within one. Eight seconds remaining. Taroko with possession here. Panda needs to be careful. He sticks around. Does flick it up over the top of Taroko. Taroko with a beat there. And he's going to walk in a six. We're headed to overtime. Panda. Just, I feel as though it had to be a curse from me. As soon as I said he's managing the game well, uh, you know, from that moment forward, things just began to fall apart. Weak shot from Taroko blocked away by Panda. He's got a 
Resource advantage for the moment. Actually, Taroko picks up the midfield boost. Panda goes into the skies, gets the bump, and secures the goal. Panda, a little bit closer than it maybe should have been, but ultimately comes away with a victory here in game two. And the series continues. Game three, who moves forward to match point? Incredible patience there from Panda. Gets the initial reset. Threatens a different, threatens a few different shots on his way down. Could have tried for a, a ground double, a ground pinch. He kept Taroko hesitant. Took advantage of the space. Taroko responds with a quick off, a quick off goal. I like that. A quick kickoff goal. Tied up. It's a good recovery from Panda. Well done. Should have earned himself a goal. Actually, maybe not. Oh, he's got to be careful. Similar to what we saw there as game two was winding down. Panda wanting to make the absolute best play possible. Sometimes being a bit overly ambitious. It's a great first touch. The reset in the top shelf. No good. I thought it may have been a bar down shot. But it was barring out. Taroko with an easy counterattack for a second. Oh! Taroko positioned perfectly. I actually didn't even see that until the replay hit. That's just a masterful positioning there from Taroko. Reading that bar down bounce to perfection. Oh, wow. This right here is uh, some 2016 strats. The cut. Sends it off the side of the backboard. The shot is wide open. It's a great 50 from Taroko. He does well to dodge out towards the ball. He's unable to put it on target, but a quick collection there and a turn results in a shot. Panda prepared for it. Well played by Taroko there. That's actually effectively a giveaway of possession. Panda's late reset. No good. So the two goal lead for Taroko holds. reset goes underneath the challenge can't get it on target that's actually just going to go directly in big 50 50 win for Taroko. going to put in a fourth That corner is going to spawn in time. Taroko is not, not concerned with it, anyways. That's a great setup from Panda. Plenty of boost in the tank. He has the reset, but the recovery is poor. Taroko is going to put in a fifth.
Not enough power on the shot. Taroka with a demo. And an easy collection. Sends that towards the target panda on low boost. Nice clear. Puts it towards the target. Taroka with a miss. Minute 05 on the clock. Panda's actually back within three. He's got an opportunity here. He needs to play these kickoffs clean. Okay. Or maybe if Taroko makes some mistakes, that will be another way that Panda can work his way into the game. Panda with another opportunity here. Needs to make the most of it. A little bit of an awkward setup. But again, we see the ambitious play. And unfortunately for Panda, it's going to provide Taroko with another easy goal there for a sixth. It's a great no boost flick there from Panda. Right there should all but solidify the game. Taroko with a demo and another freebie. He's got himself a seventh. Whoa! And it rips a shot on target. He does force a fourth one. Fourth goal through, but has not given himself enough time to add to the score, at least in a meaningful way. Still down three with nine seconds left. That means Taroko's going to move forward to match point. We head into game four with a 2 1 score line. Oh, great goal line stand there from Taroko. He kept the boost full as well. Panda's got to be careful here. He will guide that back to his own corner and somehow avoid being demoed. And that is just insane. He got lifted up off the ground and continued to <laughs> continue to aerial after this ball. Good setup for Panda. Standard air dribble over the top will be enough. He's up 1-0. Big 50 win there. And he gets a goal. And up by two. And this is, uh, you know, it's, it's, it seems like the, and we'll see how this holds, of course, but it seems like the games are, outside of game one, just decided by the start. If Panda can start well and maybe show a, a little bit of discipline on his game management, he'll be okay. That's what we saw there in game two, and now we're seeing it again here in game four. Game one was also a good start for Panda, but unfortunately he didn't hold it. And I think we saw a similar story uh, in Panda's game two win, actually. I began to praise the game management. And then we saw some questionable decision-making from Panda. We'll see if that is an adaptation, something that he can improve as we move forward in the series. If he doesn't, I think Taroko's going to take that victory here. There's another aggressive dive from Panda. Taroko has an open net to look at. Good hustle back from Panda. We'll keep the initial attack out. But he's got some more work to do. Honestly fortunate there that he was able to bump Taroko. He missed the challenge. But he did knock Taroko off path. 
Great flick from close range. Chiroko back within one. And a shot. Plenty of power. It's on target. He's got a fourth. Patience there from Panda. He's got Taroko on very low boost. He knows it. Waits for the right time. Puts a shot to the far side. Panda up by three now. Taroko setting up the double. Drops it down, but it's off the post and out. And Panda with a quick counterattack actually going to score straight away. Just under two minutes to play. And up by four now. Can he manage this lead? Can he show some discipline? Let's kick off win. Opts to forego the midfield boost. Should have an opportunity to score here. Taroko with a quick recovery and now Panda's got to hustle back. Oh, that's a that's an opportunity gone there. Taroko probably should have been scoring. Had Panda on low boost, and now Panda flips the script. He's going to put one in the other direction. Flip reset goes to the top shelf near side. He's got a seven. Taroko sizing up the attack. Panda gets ahead of the ball. Taroko knows that's a free opportunity for him. Decent setup from the left wall. Does have the reset. Uses the dodge a bit too late. Now he's got to hustle back. Panda just lofts the ball down the field. Maybe playing things a bit safer this time instead of trying to create a scoring opportunity every chance he gets, but is still a bit too aggressive with the positioning. Steps forward at the midfield. Taroko goes up over the top. And it with possession. Reset. Uses it to quickly hustle back down to the ground. Once again, we're seeing a bit more caution from the gameplay out of Panda this time. Gonna take that one back to his own side. Get a full field air dribble on the way. Reset. No good. But with 10 seconds left. Game four is secured. Panda scores an eighth. And we're headed to game five. All right, that's what we like right there. We do love a game five. We do love a game five. Taroko and Panda trading blows throughout the series. Taroko taking the odd number games. 
And Panda taking the even. We'll see if the trend continues or can Panda win two straight. Great start there for Taroko. Taroko has to play this carefully here. You can see him just very softly guiding that towards the sideline. He's done well to escape the awkward situation. Now he's got control. Panda evades the bump attempt. Actually gets very fortunate there. He got bumped into the save. Now he's got an early reset. Taroko fakes off the ceiling. Panda hoping for a ground pinch, unable to make contact. An awkward catch there. And Taroko knew exactly what Panda wanted. Oh! Panda wanted that corner, excuse me, the midfield boost. The hesitation provided an opportunity for Taroko to step in. Taroko, unfortunately, unable to put away the open net. And now Panda has an opportunity on the other side. We've tied it up just under four minutes to go. Air dribble bump attempt. No bump necessary. Taroko. In an attempt to avoid being bumped, goes up over the play and over the challenge. And he gets his second. Whoa! Big pinch from Taroko. Panda with a rear view camera check just to see where his opponent is. Realizes he has plenty of time. Great control there from Taroko. He's being disrupted on Panda's retreat. You can see them fighting through one another. Woo! Taroko barely escaping being bumped there. He's going to tie things up. What a boost spawn for Panda. That is incredible. You know he loves that. He's gonna get the flip reset, hold it till the till it returns to the ground. Threaten a few different options, and Taroko has to respect them all. But the air roll shot is how Panda will find the goal. He's got a third. Taroko scoops that midfield boost. Fires a shot towards the near post. Panda sends it away. Has his corner boost stolen. He's got more work to do on defense. Taroko will capitalize on the boost advantage and equalize here in game five. Closing in on the halfway point. Counterattack for Taroko is good. Does well to stave off the flip reset attempt there from Panda. A slow recovery. Leaves the blue net open. Taroko up one. Oh, Panda's done very well there. He needs to put that on target. Unfortunately, it's off the post. Taroko, a power shot the other way, and he's turned a bad situation into a favorable one. Panda's going to be frustrated with that outcome. 2.09 to play. Still plenty of time on the clock. Shot lacking some power. Now Panda's going to have to be careful here. Great read on the play as he pokes that back into his corner. Hoping to catch Taroko out of position, but Taroko hustles back. Oh, 
Great demo from Panda. He turns, snipes the open net. He's got a fourth. 93 seconds remain. Wow. Itoroko made that look easy. He just began the bounce dribble, kept his eye on his opponent, and just tapped it over the top of the challenge. Easy as it gets. Oh, a huge challenge win there from Panda. Oh my goodness. Fantastic stuff from Taroko. Flicks off the sidewall and the follow through. Ends up demoing his opponent. Taroko up by three with 66 seconds to play. Panda with a good idea there. Tries to snipe one from deep. Requires an awkward save from Taroko. So Panda's able to follow that up and put in a fifth. 48 seconds now. He's back within two. Certainly within reach. Should have another possession here. Following kickoff, Taroko's going to stick around. Panda knows he's awkward. Finds the backboard open. Taroko has done so well there. Great defense. That's going to waste a lot of time. Panda doesn't have much to waste. It's a great setup, has the reset, holds it to the final moment, but once again, the defense from Taroko, too good. And you can see by the body language, Panda knows what that means. Taroko up by three with 16 seconds left. That will most likely do it. Great fake from Panda. Gives him an opportunity to shoot on an open net, but he can't put enough power on it to get it past Taroko. GG's.